can't believe it's July and we're still doing this stupid, stupid show. Okay, what what the hell is going on in gaming news this week? Ricky, we have to keep it short this week because I agree. it's the holidays. I agree. And we have to get the fuck out of this fucking office and start drinking. So can we please just get into it? <laughs> no gunners, no outfits, nothing. We're trying to get the hell out of here, so this episode sucks. Anyways, <laughs> let's get into the let's get into the actual news. Minecraft creator Mojang should apparently stop trying to dick around with anything that isn't its insanely successful game Minecraft because after years and years of trying to get another game off the ground, they've pretty much said, screw it, we're going back to punching blocks. Boom. Yes, boom. Yes, Scrolls, a game whose sole existence was seemingly based entirely around pissing off Bethesda and teasing them into ridiculous legal battles, will finally be put out to pasture next year. What was Scrolls? It was a card battling game. Why is Scrolls dead? Because other companies have done this genre a lot better, and since Microsoft bought out Mojang for one reason, one reason, there's really no sense to keep a game whose player base is microscopic in comparison. So sorry to all you dozens of scroll players out there, but come next year you'll have to find something else to play in order to look like a complete hipster. There is, this is the only game you can play where it's like, I'm a video game hipster, I played the other Mojang game. This is literally Not that like- Minecraft bullshit. They created it solely to fill space at Minecon because they couldn't just have yeah. only Minecraft. So they're like, uh, something needs to be in this fu like 200 foot section of the uh, you know auditorium. And so they stuff. just got a uh, uh, kiddie pool filled with those balls. <laughs> it's just it's a ball pit. That's pretty much you what know? you're paying for. Yeah, I, I just imagine the guy that plays scrolls reels up on one of those like giant wheel bicycles with a mustache and like pulls out his computer at the Starbucks and it's like, oh, actually I'm playing scrolls. You might not have heard of it. He's dressed in steampunk. <laughs> yeah. Well, moving on to another game that should have been killed before its official release. Well, at least the PC version, because again, no problems on console. And I personally think the game is a lot of fun. Dare I say, one of the best campaigns I've played since GTA 5, actually. Mm. No one so. cares about your opinion. We're <laughs> talking about Arkham Knight and how WB has basically admitted the PC version has been fucked for a long time, apparently. Yeah, a quality assurance tester leaked some info to Kotaku saying, It's been like this for months, and all the problems we see now, were the exact same, unchanged, almost a year ago. Uh, then Kotaku continued on by saying, they both said that Warner Brothers was aware of the many issues facing Arkham Knight on PC, and that the publisher chose to ship the game regardless, not to maniacally screw over customers, but, and this is almost more sad, because they believed it was just good enough. Wow. You know, that might cut it on like a weekly shitty news show, but. Yeah, <laughs> this is literally, this episode is just enough. <laughs> That's basically... You didn't, it, there was no pre-order, so yeah. we owe you nothing, don't uh, worry. But, but the good news is that Rocksteady is now, quote, leading the charge and will be repairing this game for PC as quickly as possible, even releasing a patch this holiday weekend that will hopefully make it playable for its users. Mm. Well, but if it is working for you on PC, at least there is this amazing mod that you can play around with, which gives you control of any of the heroes or villains that appear in Arkham Knight. So if you've ever had the desire to play as Harley Quinn doing cartwheels through the streets of Gotham, you can actually make that a reality, as long as your game works, of course. Mm -hmm. So uh, maybe one, one out of every 10 of you, good. <laughs> Hey, uh, Ricky, there's gotta be some Black Ops uh, news, right? There's just gotta be somewhere. Well, okay, so you're sort of right. So Call of Duty is apparently making a prequel comic book series to Black Ops 3, despite Black Ops 3 technically already having two prequels in the form of actual video games, Black Ops and Black Ops 2. Oh, I can't think of something that fans of Call of Duty want to do more than A, reading in general, and B, reading backstory of a game that they, upon installation, immediately skip the campaign and go to, uh, you know, straight for multiplayer. Yeah, oh, just meet a lot more of that Call of Duty backstory. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> it's like you open the comic book and it's just like the map of Nuketown, and it's like, remember this? <laughs> That was in the game. We all had fun. <laughs> Anyways, on the PS4 exclusive side of the news, some full length player controlled demos of Uncharted 4 from E3 have finally hit the internet airwaves and the game looks just fucking beautiful, I'll be honest. Wow. But we can't spend too much time glowing over a game on this show because that's just not the point of this completely stupid and nonsensical show that only exists to basically shit on stuff. Yeah, but suffice it to say, uh, you know, Uncharted 4 will probably be one of our most anticipated console releases of next year. I don't console have, releases. I don't have any anticipated console releases for next year, so okay, there you go. Yes. Uh, anyways. Got him. Uh, speaking of game footage finding its way online, there are lots and lots of leaked videos of alpha gameplay from Star Wars Battlefront, and it looks, it looks incredible. We don't want to show it here because EA will no doubt be slamming down the ban hammer on people who upload this, so tread lightly out there. But, Shibby played it though, so uh, what do you think, Shibs? Let's get oh. Shibby in here for his 45 second review! Let me review it right now! Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. 
Everyone knows that MOBAs are essentially the new king shit genre of the last few years, boiling down the MMO experience of controlling an epic avatar into a quick 20 or 30 minute shot because ain't nobody got time for eight hour no life raid sessions on World of Warcraft. MMO gamers are getting older, getting more responsibilities such as actual jobs, making babies, while the new kids on the block are not playing MMOs, but are playing other trash tier titles like Destiny, House of Red Bull, Minecraft, and Five Nights at Fuckboys. <laughs> Blizzard with Heroes of the Storm continue to add consistent beefy updates in classic Blizzard fashion. They know what they're doing, unlike the morons over at the Destiny conglomerate forcing players to buy special damn, e special damn dance emotes, damn dance emotes for $20. <laughs> A new battleground was just added, Battlefield Attorney, which consists of a heaven hell styled map with angel demon fight as the map objective. It's really well done. But having said that, everyone else in the gaming space is fucking up so badly in the last few weeks that I must give this patch an overall 0 out of 10. All right! Butcher's OP. All right, that was great. I, wow. I pretty much didn't understand any of that except for when you were talking shit about specific game companies and types of people, but- Had literally review. nothing to do with Battlefront. Oh yeah, that's right, we were, we were supposed to do, but anyway, so uh, Battlefront is- Chibi is, says is, the guns are, don't fire well, zero out of 10. Whoa, okay. Anyways, for our last story today, we just wanted to bring uh, this up because fuck this guy. Yeah, you know all those asshole politicians in the 90s and 2000s who blindly hate video games just because they're old, out of touch, and need something to blame for all the world's problems. Well, surprise, they still exist. And surprise, they're still old. And apparently at least one of these pricks is an actual goddamn criminal who is finally getting his comeuppance. <laughs> Good. Yeah. <laughs> yes, this is Senator Leland Yee, and he hates video games. Uh, not only does he hate games for being too violent and has spearheaded a bunch of laws attempting to restrict access to games that people like him deem too violent for you, he also hates gamers themselves. Yeah, so turns out this guy Guy is a criminal who has now officially admitted to crimes like bribery, extortion, and gun running. <laughs> <Ha>! Got him! <laughs> Basically, he's a fucking gangster, and yeah. while he was sitting on his high horse, looking down on gaming peasants and trying to fuck up their fun, he was also violating federal law and engaging in activities that would certainly contribute to real life violence. He's basically two face in real life, so. <laughs> Flip a coin! <laughs> fuck this dude, and God bless America for catching him. But America also facilitated his crimes for a while. Uh, okay, damn it. Uh, like, America's like two things. Uh, America, uh, we live here, so go us. I think. I think, right, guys? Yeah. yeah. Anyways, happy 4th of July weekend! Yeah. 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 Oh, we're oh, we, going for it. We forgot to kill Elliot. Anyways, we love you. Bye. Elliot's <laughs> alive?